Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about the shots that you need to work on if you have an at-home setup. Some of them you don't need a, a huge at-home setup, but things you should be working on this winter to break 90 when we get to our season next year. Hey everybody, Scott Oden coming at you. We're here in the studio. Got a little bit of a different look. We are here getting ready for the winter, so we've got to make sure our hitting bays and everything are ready to go. And that got me thinking about what we're going to be doing to really help people play better golf next season when that time rolls around. We always try to maximize the time that we are working on our game in the winter. So when we get to the season, cause season's kind of short here, we wanna be able to just get out, play and shoot lower scores. So we wanna be able to do that. So we work really hard in the winter. And I wanna share with you three shots that we work on really hard. If you're somebody that's trying to get under 90, and you know, even if you're trying to get under 100, I think these are great shots that you're gonna be wanting to work on. Before we get to that, we are going to announce we had our wedge range that we were running through FlightScope, through the Skills app. I want to announce those winners so you can get your dozen golf balls. And then make sure you stay tuned. We're going to be having another challenge dealing with Iron Play coming up very soon. So make sure you click that subscribe button down below. We will be announcing that very shortly. Don't want to miss that. So let's get to our winners. I've got the top three. Remember, that's who we were giving. But again, thanks to everybody that participated. Hopefully you see that this is a great challenge and what I love about the skills app is you're just trying to improve your score Consistently at a very important skill set and that's that's what it's really all about So even if you're not in the top three just look at what you shot and you know that keeps record in your flight scope All your data so keep that number and then just keep trying to beat it And I bet you will shoot lower scores if you take that and do that in different areas of the game So that's the whole point of this but our top spot with an, a very impressive 131 out of 140 points. That's pretty awesome. And his average distance to the target was 12 feet, four yards, right? I think I did that math right. But 12 feet from 50 all the way up to 100, that's pretty darn impressive with wedge play. And that's going to be Cliff Sinclair. Really good job. Second place was Colin Hodgkinson's. And then third place is Marcelo. I'm going to say this incorrect. And it's Urigas, but all three of those average, and we had a couple other people average under 15 feet in that distance category. So that's pretty good job right there with that game. So I'll put everybody's names there on, on the bottom in the description. I also will leave contact information. What I need is for you to reach out and let us know how we're going to get you your dozen. So those three people, please reach on out. Looking forward to it. So with that, we're going to move into how do we break 90? That's what we want to do. That's why you've invested in your simulator. Let's do it. So the first shot that I think you're going to want to work on is that 100 yard shot. Okay. 100 yard shot. We work on this shot all the time with players. So not 50 to 100. If you want to do that, go ahead. And you could do that within like the wedge range we just talked about. But 100 yards, you have to have that shot. It's a shot that I think a lot of people end up at whether you know it's a short hole and you hit a good tee shot and you can get it on the green and have a birdie putt or you hit a shot where you're maybe not able to get all the way to the green and then you have to punch out or you lay up and you're in that hundred yard range so you're gonna have that shot and that's where it's gonna get you on the green give you a chance to make par but at worst make bogey, which is really what we're trying to do when we're trying to break 90. We wanna just limit things to bogeys, sprinkle in a couple pars, maybe a birdie once in a while, but you know we're just trying to avoid that big disaster, which is what this hole is really gonna let you do, or this shot, okay? So that's what we wanna be able to do. Get to your E6 app, get to your course simulator app, set up a target, 100 yards. I want you working on hitting that ball on the green. Your goal is you should hit nine shots and be able to hit nine shots on the green and have the ball stop. Okay, that's your first goal. If you can do that, then I want you to start focusing on the distance that you can hit the ball to the hole. If you can hit that nine shots and get them all with inside of 40 feet, now we're in a good position where we're going to start moving closer, where we're going to start avoiding three putts, which will be another way that we can avoid disaster. But, you know, a lot of people say, hey, don't three putt. Well, if you're hitting it to 50, 60, 70 feet, it's really hard not to three putt. So first things first, get it on the green. Then 
try and get the ball closer and closer. What we really want to be able to do is get it within about 35 feet. That's that distance where I feel like if you get it within 35 feet, nine out of nine times, you are going to be able to avoid three putts, two putt. Again, if it's a green and reg, you're making par. If it's one above a green and reg, you're making bogey. So start it off working on that 100 yard shot, set some goals, and then see if you can do it. So that's shot number one right there. Shot number two that we wanna work on and we work on all the time is getting a 200 yard shot 200 yard shot that you can hit into a fairway so what we like to do is on our simulator software set up a tee shot just pick any hole that you like where you have enough room to hit it 200 yards i would keep it pretty straight ish you know not something that dog legs 90 degrees because actually that would affect how wide it gets and everything but just a 200 yard pretty straight fairway and i want you working on hitting that shot into the fairway again we're going to be looking at maybe about a 35 yard fairway 30 yard fairway when we're doing this and the point of this shot is we are trying to get to a point where we have a go-to shot off the tee so many times people are looking at me and saying and coming to me and they're like i want to hit my driver and play that's the key and i'm not disagreeing with that but you have to have a secondary or third shot that you can go to first because if you can't hit a 200 yard shot you're not going to be able to hit your driver very well it's not like we have to be laser accurate we're not talking about hitting it on a green and being like 30 20 feet away from the hole we need to hit it within about 110 yard or sorry 110 foot area to be able to be successful this is going to let you get off the tee if you're playing golf let's say you're really struggling with your driver most holes that you should be playing are around 380 to 400 yards if you can hit a 200 yard shot you can get to the green with both of those shots and then you're able to really score and chip and putt and do all that stuff anyway but you have to be able to get a shot in play first so we always work on trying to get a 200 yard shot now that may be your driver that might be it that may be a hybrid four iron five iron whatever it is you want to work on getting that shot to travel that distance and be able to be within that fairway but if you're trying to break 90 and for our competitive players we're usually trying to get that 200 yard shot dialed in and we're always challenging ourselves so again the goal is to get nine out of nine inside of that area and then we move the grid in and then we move out. So that's the way we go first, start with a fairway, then we would start with hitting a specific part of the fairway, and then we're going to start moving the distance out, rinse and repeat, all the way up to our driver, and then we're able to really get that ball in play as well with the long stick. Shot number three that you should be working on this winter. This one is very easy because you don't actually need a massive setup to do this. That is gonna be four foot putts. Okay, we can't neglect the putting this winter. You have to hit thousands and thousands of putts to build your confidence, make you feel really like, hey, I've got this. I'm gonna knock this putt into the hole. You have to do that and you gotta start now and then that's going to work its way into the winter. Now, you, you don't need a massive setup. When I was a kid, I did this and putting was the strongest part of my game as a junior. Now it's probably the weakest because guess what? I spend all my time on a sim, I never putt. But what I did was I just putted to a coffee mug. I was on my carpet. You know, it was not the fastest carpet. Actually probably made it better because you had to hit it real solid. But I just putted to a coffee mug. Coffee mug works really good because if you want to see the ball actually go in the mug, you got to hit it pretty center. But if you have any of the putty mat setups that are out there, those work just as good. It's okay if it's just a straight putt. I mean, anything that you can do to just repeat your setup get yourself going and get yourself making a lot of putts, seeing the ball go in the hole. Don't neglect that putting, get some reps in there. You should be trying to make at least 50 putts a day. And in all honesty, trying to make them in a row should be the goal. Now, if you don't do it in a row, I would set some sort of goal where I would say, hey, if you don't make the first 10 in a row, then you gotta start over. Then you can go all the way up to 50. You know, something like that. Now, if you wanna go, hey, I gotta make all 50 in a row, that's great. That's gonna really help you, but that's definitely can be a challenge for some people. So something to think about as you go, but building that putting, if you're going to really shoot lower scores, 
you have to get that putter under control. Now, why do we pick four feet? Because four feet is that separating line that we see in statistics where when we inside of four feet, we tend to see a lot of putts made regardless. Once we start getting outside of four feet, four foot's that line where we see a drastic drop off in putts made. So we want four feet to be something where we still have a really high level of makes and then five feet, six feet should be a little bit easier too. But in general, you're not gonna make as many putts from that range as you would from four feet and in. So we gotta make sure we do that. So these are the three shots we work on with our students. That was a weird like three that I put up three. Three shots that we work on with our students that really can help. We've seen students lose as many as 50, 60 shots doing this, not kidding. You know, going from shooting 130, 140 to in eight, seven, eight weeks, going down and almost breaking 70. And it's just because they work on these key shots. Now, if you're somebody that's struggling with hitting these shots and you need help, that might be something where you need to work on your technique. I would encourage you to check out our online golf academy if you need help with that and how to swing the club and all that. Make sure you check that out. I'll put a link down below if you need help on your technique but just by doing these drills and having some purpose to your practice if you already have good technique as I always say that's just opening up the ceiling to what you can do you have to practice with a purpose and practice the right way so you can actually see the performance side come to reality so that's how you get better and want to help you with that with these shots. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Remember, click that subscribe button. We're going to have more challenges coming up. Congratulations to our winners. Make sure you reach out to us at the links down below. And we look forward to seeing you in future videos. Thanks for watching. That's three again. Peace.